And then when I walked out, I was like, wow, that is that was empowering. the street I just left town center mall because my car is getting um, an alignment and he said it's gonna take a few hours so I was in the mall and I was sitting in the massage chair for 10 minutes because it felt so amazing now I'm literally walking across the street to give me some brunch at J Christopher's one of my favorite places and it's just a good Sunday I'm with myself honestly it was gonna take a few hours for my alignment I'm gonna get brunch then I'm gonna go see a movie then hopefully my car is done by then then I'm gonna go get my toes done and yeah it's just a great day all around I love life hello my fellow YouTube family it's your girl okay that and honestly today was a freaking good day okay um, it's a beautiful Sunday. Well, it still kind of is. It's getting kind of cloudy, but it was a beautiful day today. I woke up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, washed my face, walked out the door. Um, I got an alignment on my baby Sophia today. Much needed. Next time I got to get a tire rotation because it failed, but still. Then after, while my boo, my little baby was getting a t um, an alignment, I went to brunch by myself at jay christopher's magnifique okay jay christopher's is one of my favorite restaurants so good so then after jay christopher's i was like should i go to a movie but then i said no because my car might be done by the time i buy my ticket and actually sit down so luckily i didn't because shortly after i did a few errands it was ready so after jay christopher's I went to Plato's Closet, bought me a few things. Then I went to, came back to the mall, went to Bath and Body Works. I was only supposed to go in there to buy just that wall plug-in part for my fragrances, which cost only $4, by the way. Walked out the store with $150 worth of stuff. They have such a good sale going on in there. So yeah. I walked out the store with more than what I needed to, which I hate when that happens. I hate pulse buying because I need to quit buying stuff anyway because I'm trying to travel, man. I didn't need all this stuff. I just have no self-discipline, okay? Obviously, I am terrible. I am the problem, okay? But luckily I get paid every week, so we all good. But um, yeah, I need to quit pulse buying. But right now I'm in my car, obviously. I got my baby back. And I'm thinking about going to a movie by myself, which, by the way, I go to the movies by myself all the time. But when I went to Jay Christopher's today, the brunch place, by myself, I'm, first off, I've never been to a restaurant by myself ever before. And to actually do that today, I thought I was really nervous at first. But when I sat down, I was like, you be great, Kayla. You feeling good? Everything's going good? And then when I walked out, I was like, wow, that is that was empowering, honestly. Just the small things I'm realizing by myself are empowering to me. I feel like people need to really do stuff on their own more because for me, I'm doing stuff on my own more for me right now because I'm about to start traveling as a solo black woman with no one, keyword solo, because I don't know, I'm just tired of I guess waiting on people or I guess being excited. I'm tired of being excited, asking people to come on a trip with me. They say no, they don't have the funds, they don't wanna go because they just don't like the place that I picked or they say they're gonna go and then a few days before the trip they flake and I'm just like, I don't have time. Cause then I end up not going. And it's time for me to quit being a pussy, do things on my own, 
and embark on this journey on my own because I came into this world by myself and I need to explore it by myself, obviously, and meet people along the way. Good people with good hearts. I'm definitely aligning that into the stars. And I'm honestly excited about this new journey that I am about to embark on because I'm 23. I don't have time to be waiting on other people to go places with me just because I don't want to go by myself. So certain events that have happened have forced me to go by myself so my next trip that I'm going on by myself is for my birthday which is January 15th I will be in LA and I've never traveled that far by myself before across the country and luckily I've been in LA before but it was only for three days for the first time last year so this time I'm staying longer I'm staying for a week from the 15th through the 22nd and I've already booked my flight I just have to book my place of stay either an Airbnb or a hostel I'm really thinking leaning towards a hostel so I can meet people easier and just connect with people and it's in a good area the hostel has good reviews so that's what I'm leaning towards and I just don't have time to be waiting on people if you really want to do something, don't wait on others to do it with you. If you really want to do it, just do it solo. You will meet people along the way. You will be great doing it. So, I definitely know I'm going to have some travel videos coming. But, I know it's been, I think, two weeks since I posted a video. And again, I'm sorry. And I genuinely mean that I'm really sorry. It's just that work has been crazy on this movie. And we start filming tomorrow monday 9 24 so it's gonna get even crazier and they've been having me work on the weekends which was i was shocked because i mean hello we're not supposed to be working on the weekends but i get that double overtime though so that's that money gotta get that money so that is my apologies they just had me working on the weekend and i did not have time to film which is why i'm definitely getting more discipline on myself and so yeah that is my explanation and I hope you guys can forgive me I am going to honestly from today through December 14th my schedule ouch my scheduling is gonna kind of be a little wishy-washy because work is just crazy and they have me working whenever they want me working I guess I know I'm working I'm always working Monday through Friday but on the weekends Things are starting to get crazy, so they have me working weekends sometimes. I just never know which weekend, so I'm going to try to pre-film on my days off when I do have a day off, because I've lit I've worked every single day this week, um, from last Sunday to this Saturday. So I'm just I'm getting it together, guys. Please forgive me. What else did I need to say? I think that's it. I think that's all I really wanted to say. I think the main point of this video was to say, don't be afraid to do things by yourself. Especially as a black woman, it's kind of just hard just to do things by yourself anyway in this world because of my skin color. And I'm a woman. Don't be afraid to do things by yourself. Go to a movie by yourself. Like one of my best friends, you know who you are if you're watching this video, he went to the movies by himself for the first time a few months ago or a few weeks ago, one of those. And he's 27. And he said he felt good. It was invigorating and empowering. Was he nervous at first? Heck yeah. He called me up like, okay, I'm so nervous. What am I going to do? Why am I here by myself? Honey, go in that movie. Enjoy the movie by yourself, okay? Like, honestly, doing things by yourself is just so invigorating. And it's just, to me, is fulfillment and knowing that you got this. And knowing that once you're done with whatever task you're doing by yourself, you should feel good about yourself that you're able to do things alone without waiting on people and not being afraid did you get the good jitters you get the good vibes and the bubble guts the good bubble guts and it's just good to just do things by yourself life is too short to wait on other people to fulfill your happiness for you life is too short to be disappointed and miss out on something because you didn't want to do it by yourself i don't have time for any of that i'm just living about here mm. I'm just out here going to be living my best life the best that I can and 
I want to make this a journey. I want to make this a video diary because I want to look back on my life and be like, Damn, Kayla, you came a long way, girl. Yeah, you did. That's it. You know? So, we will see how things go. But that was my day. It was a beautiful Sunday. I think I'm about to go to the movies. No, I need to quit spending money. Even though it's only it's 145 now. I need to think about what else I needed to do today. But yeah. That's really it. I really want to go to the movies though, because I want to see crazy rich Asians. I don't know. I don't think about it. But I feel like I'm on this eat, pray, love journey, honestly. I just haven't made it to Europe yet, but I'm about to be doing a whole bunch of things by myself. Okay. So Come on this journey with me. Let's be great. My contacts are bothering me. And yeah, I hope you guys can be here for me and support me. And know that I love you guys and I thank you so much. And let's grow this family little by little. You know, every subscriber counts. And do me a favor, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. And comment down below what you wish you could do by yourself but won't. And let's make this a discussion, you know. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday and I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. I can do anything.